When you're a 35 year old bloke going through a bit of a midlife crisis, you've only really got two options. You can either buy a motorbike or you can learn to play the guitar. Well, my mum wouldn't let me get a motorbike, so here we go. No, so I've always wanted to play the guitar and I just figured there's no time like the present, so why not start now? Um, I can't really afford to get private lessons, but there's loads of online courses, so I've had a quick look around and I've started to go with this guy called Justin Guitar. Hi, I'm Justin Sandico, the creator of Justin Guitar, and I've been teaching guitar for over 30 years and teaching online since the very earliest days of the World Wide Web. Hopefully, he will be able to turn me from a complete beginner into a kind of indie rock superstar. Yeah, well, good luck with that. So, so far, I've learned basically how to hold the guitar um, and also had to tune my guitar so I've downloaded this free app called Guitar Tuner um, where basically you just play each string and it kind of quite cleverly automatically can tell which string you're trying to tune and then it just tells you if it's too high or too low. You just twist these around until it says, yeah, bang on. And then I've learnt my first two chords. So I've learnt D chord. And I've learnt the A chord. Shouldn't probably sound quite like that. So I've learnt them and then at the end of that there was like a little play along with those two chords thing that I tried to do and I couldn't keep up at all and my chord sounded terrible but it's only day one so not so bad so far. I want to remind myself of where to put my fingers for those chords. I've drawn little things on post-it notes and stuck them just in front of me on my desk. Oh dear. Why does that sound so bad? which is E, and once you've got those three chords down, so D, A and E, you can play loads of different songs. Well, at least in theory you can. I can't at the moment because when I play any of the chords they sound absolutely terrible. It takes me about six months to switch between them and my fingers hurt so bad. I can see that. No, it won't focus, but they really hurt. So painful. Ow. Oh, I've started doing an exercise called One Minute Changes, which Justin gives you, where basically you have a minute, so you set a timer on your phone or whatever, and in a minute you've got to do as many changes as you can between two of the chords. So first you do D to A, um, and then you go D to E, uh, and then you go from A to E. So that goes a bit like this. So... D, A, D, A, D, A, D, A, A, and so on for a minute, and you count how many you can do. And the idea is that as you go through the week, um, you get quicker and quicker. Right, so I'm still doing my one minute chord changes and that kind of stuff, but I've also started learning, trying to learn to play my first song, which is Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bob. So I'll give you a little run through of that, which will sound absolutely nothing like the song, so it's a good job I've told you what it is. There's quite a long intro where you just play A over and over again, so I won't do that, but... <laughs> Alright, oh god, alright. 
So in the one minute challenge thing, my chord changes are definitely getting quicker, but it still sounds terrible. Now Justin says that they don't need to sound perfect because it's all about speed. And obviously as soon as you've got the chord in the right place and you've strummed it, you're straight onto the next one. So you're not even kind of letting it ring out, but I'm still worried that they sound so bad. And on some of them, I'm not even totally sure if I've quite got my fingers in the right place that I don't know how useful that's going to be when it comes to playing songs or obviously it does matter what the chord sounds like and whether you've got your fingers in the right place or not. So um, yeah, I'm getting quicker, but I don't know if I'm actually getting any better. Um, and my Three Little Birds, I can sort of play it through a bit, but it doesn't sound much like what I'd expect the real song to sound like. I don't know if it's just sort of a simplified version. fingers are starting to cope a lot better than they were. Um, I'm basically trying to practice in 18 minute sessions, which is what Justin recommends. Um, and he says it's a lot better to do that once a day, every day, than do like an hour session and end up doing it only once a week. So some days I'm getting in two sessions and some days if I've got a lot on, just one. But I haven't missed any days yet so far, so that is good. I've also ordered a capo and a pick because I think that might help with my strumming. So at the moment, um, I'm just using my thumb, which like you can do and some um, guitarists do always use their thumb, but yeah, I think it might help my strumming and my speed if I've got a pick. So yeah, I've ordered them. Exciting day, my pick and capo have arrived. What are you, some kind of idiot? Um, exciting times, my capo and pick arrived today. Um, also, I was having a little look around online for some other tutorials of how to play Three Little Birds just to make sure that I was doing it right. And I came across a guy called Andy Guitar who's got a similar kind of thing, like loads of online lessons, all free. Um, and I did sort of one or two of his videos and he has got me learning wild thing. Um, and I already feel better about this because even though I'm still butchering it, I can sort of recognize it, like it actually sounds like the song. Um, I'll try and play the little first bit for you now and you can decide, but so. And then there's like a little sort of bit where it just goes AD, AD. Um, and then there's a little bit in the middle which you might hopefully recognise, which goes... I can do it better than that, hang on. Wild well, thing, I think I love you. But I want to know for sure. So come on and hold me tight. Ah. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, what else he taught me? I also learned the first little seven, six notes of Born in the USA. So, hang on. Uh, right. 
no, that did not sound good. Bear with. No, oh, that sounds terrible. Hold on, I can get this. I've done it better than that, it's the pressure. Let's try again. Born in the USA. Ah. I keep touching the string that I'm not meant to touch with my stupid finger. Hang on. Bad. Okay, so I'm a week in and like I'm still pretty terrible, but I'm better than I was a week ago and more importantly, like I'm loving it. So both well pretty much everybody that I've kind of read about online has said that the main thing is to make sure that for the first few months up to the first six months, your biggest challenge really is just not packing in um, because at the start like it's really quite hard nothing sounds like a song nothing sounds good um, really frustrating like your fingers hurt everything's against you really and that's when like 90% of people who start playing the guitar pack up so the fact that I'm really enjoying it even though uh, it's difficult is good news and at the moment I've got no intention of packing up um, I'm practicing like two or three times a day and I would sort of practice more if I had the time and if my fingers weren't hurting so much. So that's got to be a good sign. So how good am I? Well, um, let's have a look. I'll try and play through a bit of Three Little Birds. Uh, right. annoying I can do it better than that but um, yeah there's something uh, and then how is my wild thing so Big sausage, you keep touching the wrong string. Come on. 
too bad. So yeah, obviously the video is called something like How Good You'll Be After Your First Week of Guitar and I guess there's a very good chance you might be better than I am after your first week. Um, you might be worse, who knows, I guess everyone's going to progress at their own speed and that's fine. But yeah, just make sure that you're enjoying it so then you're more likely to stick with it. Um, if you can play the guitar or any instrument and you've got any advice for me then let me know in the comments down below. My advice? Never do that again. I might do another update in like a week or a couple of weeks to sort of let you know how I'm going on. I expect by then I'll be banging out like awesome guitar riffs and headlining Glastonbury. So yeah, in the meantime, wish me luck, take it easy, and I'll see you in the future.